David, just run us through what happened over the weekend. We had a few drink drivers. Well, it's actually quite alarming. Um, the figures I have is that there's been over 40 drink drivers detected. The traffic, the Cairns Traffic Branch ran an operation over the weekend starting from Friday for the three days and they've picked up 34 drink drivers. Uh, two of those were high-end drink drivers and um, yeah, yeah, very, very disappointing. Was there anything on over this particular weekend that either led to the Traffic Branch deciding to run the operation or that may have contributed to the figures? Well, it's pretty much a precursor to the Easter traffic campaign. Uh, for Easter, we have our, our first enforcement it's a statewide enforcement commencing on the 13th of April, which is this Wednesday, through until the 20th. And then uh, from the 21st of April to the 26th, it's the national campaign, so the police will be out in force and um, they will be specifically targeting drink drivers. Uh, if you drink and drive, you know, it's a matter of when you get caught, not if. But from our perspective, this is very disappointing, those sort of figures. Where were these um, drink drivers detected? Uh, mostly in the, the Cairns City area. Um, I'm told that uh, 26 of those drink drivers were actually detected between 2am and 6am, which is, you know, just, just as the nightclubs close and going home, that was on the Saturday and Sunday morning. So, I mean, you know, there are taxis, there are alternatives to, to getting home without driving. So, yeah, very disappointed. What was the highest reading? 0.165% uh, is, yeah, which is a very high reading. How unusual is it to get that many drivers? Well, the traffic branch, are, basically, they do enforcement week in, week out, and, you know, we pay a lot of attention, but uh, to find that many in one hit, particularly coming up to Easter, is, is certainly very concerning. Um, our road toll, of course, is uh, four uh, this year, which is, we think, too high. So, you know, drink driving certainly does contribute towards that, so... Again, the message to everybody is, you know, if you if you plan to drink, then don't plan to drive. You know, have a designated driver. There are taxis. There's public transport available, but yeah, don't drink and drive. Any idea how many motorists were stopped at the RBT? Uh, there were 1,700 random breath tests conducted during that period, so we're looking at a hit rate of about one in 50 motorists. So, again, I'd like to reinforce, you know, if you do drink and drive, expect to get caught. One in fifty. How often would you see a ra uh, you know a ratio like that? Is well, know. I'm told that that's significant, but uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't know how what sort of figures they get ordinarily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's no reason really that we can see behind it. There wasn't an event on that people were um, out. Or not really. In the times, you think it's just people coming out of clubs and deciding to drive home. That's. I think that's what it is. Just yeah, people are becoming complacent, and uh, we certainly need to guard against that. So got you worried about what to expect over Easter? Well, I, I'm certainly hoping we have a much better standard of behaviour. Uh, like I said, the police will be out in force as part of the state campaign and the national campaign. Uh, we will be targeting drink drivers and the fatal fall, so, you know, people can expect to get tested wherever they go. So, you know, if, like I said, if you plan to drink, then plan not to drive. When you're looking at a, a ratio of 1 to 50 people on the road at a certain time of day potentially being under the influence, you'd have to be almost relieved there were no serious accidents over the weekend. Well, uh, I guess that 1 to 50 is, is more... Uh, one out of every 50 tests is a positive drink driver, so I don't know if you could expand that to include, you know, 1 in 50 drivers on mm -hmm. the road, but, yeah, it is a troubling statistic. Do you believe there were no serious incidents, no crashes? Are you surprised? Is it lucky that there were? Well, I think we're lucky, yes, more than anything.